Hello, I'm Death Zero, and this is a What I'm Thinking debrief for the week of July 28th, 2013. A topic that has gotten a lot of attention lately on the North American forums is capping versus killing, specifically in landslide matches. My general thought process has been that you should try to win a match before all other considerations, and for most players this is the best way to proceed. I've seen way too many defeats snatched from the jaws of victory by bad decision making. That said, there are situations where it makes more sense to kill the remaining enemies than cap, particularly in matches where your team has a big lead and the outcome is not in question. Don't leave potential XP and credits on the table if you can help it. Damage and kills are worth more than cap points generally speaking and fearsome enemies are a lot less fearsome when your team has the advantage. It's obviously situational though as slow or damaged tanks may be unable or reluctant to get back into the fight or the only remaining enemy is fast and not worth chasing down. As I keep mentioning this is very situational and when in doubt cap it out. Don't risk a draw or a loss. And now it's time for the match of the week! The replay that I'll be looking at is a solo battle from July 28th on airfield in my T-71. As noted on the loading screen, this is a standard battle. Reviewing tank composition for this battle reveals the following. This is a tier 10 battle with 7 tier 10s and 5 tier 9s on each team. My team has 3 tier 7s while the enemy team has 2. The enemy team also has a tier 5 scout. Both teams have a single tier 10 RD piece. I don't recognize anyone in this battle. As the match loads in, my options on this map are somewhat limited. I see a lot of scouts go north and try to hide behind the rock outcrops at B5. The problem is that you get pinned down and can't leave. My plan is to go middle, use the hill as cover, and look for openings to exploit while being careful not to get spotted in the open. The enemy has a number of big tanks and TDs that I need to be particularly careful about. As the match gets underway, I'll merely start heading west. Gonna head over to the middle, cut through the water. Climbing the hill. Have a T-50-2 in front of me. Drop below the rise so I don't get hit. Hoping that some friendlies will actually hit him. Not really seeing anything else at this point. Gonna head back the other way. Really just feeling things out at this point. Not much point in rushing in. I'll get wiped out pretty quickly. Have an AMX-1375 and a WZ-120 as well as an IS-8 spotted in the north. There's the T-50-2 again. Trying to hit him. I track him on my second shot can only really see him through that small doorway in that wall up there, so I'm only able to track him here. I can't really get any hits on his hull. And I bounce my last shot and start my reload. Unfortunately, the T-50-2 will likely escape. That Naya 7 spotted in front of me. Just hanging out here behind cover while I reload. My reload's completed. I also have a tortoise over here. Trying to line up the I-7, but he's behind the rocks. Gonna head back towards the middle a little bit. See if there's a hole there. Not really seeing anything, so I back off. Still quite a few enemy tanks unaccounted for. So I will continue to play this cautiously. Going around the back of our JP. Quite a few enemies in the north. Still really not seeing an opening at this point. Our 1375 gets taken down by the Foch 155, so I know I can't rush the middle. Foch gets a hit on our IS-7. Head back towards the middle again. Climbing the hill. Taking a look north. Not really seeing anything. Foch is not spotted.
Enemy IS-7 spotted over at K2. See if I can relight him here. And I spot him. Trying to line him up. Miss. Miss. Bounce. I'm not really going to stand a chance of penning him from the front. Force a reload. Enemy tortoise now is in the middle at F5. There's the Foch again. After bouncing around for a few minutes, I finally see an opening with the enemy Foch 155 distracted by our E75 and ST1. The enemy's tortoise is isolated at F5. I plan to get behind him and keep him busy. AMX 1375 on the ridge though. He gets a hit, lights me on fire. Immediately hit the fire extinguisher and put it out. And I took engine damage, which I repaired with my repair kit. Get behind him. Bounce. Get a damaging hit there on the back of his cupola. Another hit. Third hit. I'm reloading now. And our IS-7 knocks him down with some help from the JP-100. I'm now going to maneuver into this little notch here, which will get me out of the line of fire of the Foch. 1375 is above me. He won't be able to get his gun on me from that location. Not sure I really see a way out of this position without taking fire. I'm not going to get past that Foch, that's for sure. Also, the 1375 will be able to put fire on me if I try to escape, so that's not really a viable option. hemmed in right now. T-50-2 is above me now. He'd have to come over the ridge to shoot me. I actually was just able to see the top of his turret, but he backs out quickly enough. I'm somewhat pinned down by the Foch 155, and it's going to be difficult to get out of the spot I'm in. Rather than risk getting taken out, I try an alternative option by climbing the small ridge. Strangely enough, with some jockeying, it's actually climbable. And I reach the top. I'm going to go after the 1375. Cautiously poking around. Get a hit. And a second hit and knock him down. 50-2 is trying to run. Quickly line him up. Snap a shot and knock him down. Force a reload. IS-7 shoots at me but misses. Foch is in front of me. The Foch 155 has decided to chase after me. While I could try to flank him, a single hit could take me out, and I have to assume he's loaded. I decide to retreat rather than try to take him on. I am now in cover from the Foch. Slide down the cliff carefully, not to take any damage. Enemy I7 in the open. He's distracted. I light him on fire. I bounce. Get a hit for damage. Another hit for damage. He takes a hit from a friendly in the back. I got another hit and I start reloading. He's down at 31 hit points. And our JP-100 knocks him down. With three enemies remaining, I could start capping, but with an eight tank lead and the match in hand, it makes more sense to hunt down and kill the remaining enemies. I'll start with the arty, which hasn't been spotted yet and is likely on the one line behind the enemy's cap. Cutting through the town around Cap, but not going on Cap. I don't want to warn the enemy that I'm going that way. Already is now lit. And he gets knocked down by our E4. Lining up the 5120, I get a hit. Miss my second shot. Third shot is a hit. Fourth shot is a hit. Fifth shot is a hit. Sixth shot is a hit. He's at seven hit points. I take a hit from him. Lose my commander, but I heal him. And we kill the last enemy for the win. 
Looking at the after action screens, I destroyed two tanks, damaged three more, hit 24 of 30 shots, did 2,671 points of damage, and earned 2,085 experience before the triple. Overall, this battle appeared pretty daunting when it loaded in, with numerous tier 10s and many enemies that I would be hard pressed to do damage against. I played pretty cautiously early on, using the hill in the middle for cover while I waited for an opening to exploit. When I saw the isolated tortoise, I made my move and got behind him, distracting and keeping him from retreating so friendlies could knock him out. I was then pinned down by the enemy Foch 155, which forced me to find a different way out. With some jockeying, I was able to climb the cliff and take down the enemy scouts. I was then confronted by the Foch 155 and made the smart call to retreat. Once the match was in hand, I made the decision to keep hunting rather than cap to maximize my XP and credits for the match. Thank you for watching this What I'm Thinking debrief. Stay tuned for more content soon. Before signing off, I wanted to thank Astrophysics98 for gifting me some gold. It was a surprise and much appreciated. I don't ask or expect anything from my subscribers for making these videos, but I certainly appreciate the gift. Thank you very much. Ha, ha, ha.